A bus is a plus. When you think of transportation, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? I bet you think of cars, airplanes, and bikes. But did buses come to your mind? If you live in the suburbs, you might think that buses are useless. However, for those living in urban areas, buses are like a transportation lifeline. In Chicago, America's second largest public transportation system, 1,865 buses make 19,000 trips a day, serving 11,104 bus stops. On an average weekday in 2013, almost a million people used buses in Chicago. And in the whole year of 2013, 300.12 million rode these valuable transporters in just Chicago. In New York City, buses are even more vital, with over 5,900 buses carrying more than 2 million people per day. The Port Authority Bus Terminal in NYC is the busiest bus station in the whole nation. In just these two cities alone, buses carry more than 3 million people each day. Imagine how many more people use buses in other major cities like Greensboro, Los Angeles, and Houston. Buses help people of all ages from children to adults. Another important type of bus is the bright yellow school bus. There are 480,000 school buses that carry more than 25 million children each day during the school year. The school bus industry is even bigger than the public transit industry. Even though buses seem like they just appear out of nowhere, the time, effort, and money required to keep buses going is more than you might think. A standard bus has a lifetime of 12 years and 250,000 miles. So when new buses must be manufactured, various factors such as size, number, quality, and company must be taken into account. Diesel buses, the most common type of bus in America, ranges in price from $300,000 to $600,000 per bus. Hybrid buses range from $500,000 to $714,000 per bus. But buses aren't the only things that need building. Operating costs, employee costs, bus stops, bus shelters, and road repairs are other hidden costs. People also associate buses with road congestion. This is an iffy assumption. There are many factors affecting road congestion. If anything, because buses can fit more people per square foot, buses actually decrease congestion. But because some large buses in areas with small cars can clog up road space, as well as inappropriate driving and stopping times, buses can cause congestion. A solution to such congestion would be the utilization of bus-only shoulders. Although buses must meet many requirements to use these shoulders, once the requirements are met, buses can drive past regular traffic with ease, lessening congestion. Overall, buses are an overlooked, vital public transportation industry. Buses use less gas per person. In 2010, school buses alone saved the U.S. 2.3 billion gallons of gas, saving $6 billion. Buses are easy methods of getting around in busy cities. They help those who don't have cars readily available and transport millions of children to school and back each day. If you have a bus system nearby, give it a chance. Using a bus is a plus.